When humans do not believe in God, they believe in anything, even in the Father Christmas. It's true. When the human being does not believe in God, it's quite easy for them to make gods for themselves, so much so that they have to do something with the faith that God placed in them. And if they chose to not put this faith in the Creator, they will have to put somewhere else. That's why they will go out there creating gods and things to deposit this faith. It's not by chance that the first commandment that God gave to Moses at the Mount Sinai, when he counseled the people of Israel who had left Egypt, a pagan place where there were many gods, a ox that eats grass was a god. The intention of the commandments was to lead the people to detach from many things, but also from empty beliefs, cultures that were wrong and far from God, that led the people far from God, such as idolatry, to make gods out of wood, metal, gold, and etc. The first greatest commandment was that you shall have no other gods before me. You shall have no other gods before me. Because the human being has this inclination to adore, to make gods for themselves. So understand, when the person does not know the true God, they start to create gods. And you can look in the world and see in the various religions for all tastes, by the way, that this is a fact. When the person says, I'm not religious, I'm an atheist, they've decided that they don't believe in any god. I've seen many atheists believing in horseshoes, behind their door. I've met many atheists who believed in astrology, the zodiac signs, believing in crystals, and things of the sort. Why? Because the person doesn't know the true God, so they will have to do something with this faith, even if that faith is placed in science which is quite interesting, because God is the source of all science. And the person says, I believe in science, but not in God. It's as if the person is saying, I believe in Mona Lisa, but not in Leonardo da Vinci. It's quite funny. The human being is funny at times. The human being is a creature that must be studied. If it was not another human being studying the human being, it's quite funny. You shall have no other gods before me, was God's counsel. Why? Just as I said, when they don't believe in gods, they even believe in Father Christmas. And it's quite current, this topic, because Christmas time is coming. Children are taught about the Father Christmas to wait for him to come. The old man will come and give you a gift. And how many times I've waited for this good old man and he never came. I got good grades in school and in the end of the year and the good old man did not pass through here. How many times he would pass and will only leave the sock. <laughs> only the sock hanging in there. And children are deceived. Since they are infants, they are deceived. Father Christmas, that manipulation. If you are good, Father Christmas will pass by here. And people believe in that. But this is a child's thing. No, there's many adults, many adults celebrating Christmas. They don't even know what they celebrate and they put the Christmas tree 
They adorn the tree, they have their gift list, they prepare in the Christmas supper. Please, there's no problem with you gathering the family for a family celebration, nothing against it. But understand that people are carried away by the waves of traditions and cultures and do not even know what they are doing, what they are celebrating. But Christmas is the birth of Jesus. Nobody knows the day Jesus was born. All shows that Jesus was born by April according to the biblical descriptions, but still, we don't know the date. And even if we knew, Jesus never told us to celebrate his birth. Never. Quite the contrary. Do you know what he told us to celebrate? He told us to celebrate his death. Because his death is what changed our lives. His death on the cross is what changed the course of humanity. The history of humanity. So those who know God and understand the word of God, they know that this is a pagan celebration. This shouldn't have any space in a Christian's life. I'll be fighting people out there. Oh, you are a pagan person. You celebrate Christmas. Hey, you who are a Christian, you won't go out there condemning people because they celebrate Christmas. It's not for you to be condemning people. What I'm saying here is, to those who want to know God or who already know God, and many times they don't understand how the world ends up infiltrating the church, Christianity, the person's faith, in such a way that the person looks more like the world and less like God. The church has the obligation to be the light to the world, to be a separate nation. As God told the people in Moses, there at the Sinai, you will be a different, differentiated nation from all other nations in the world and the children of God have this obligation to be separate from every nation in the world, separate not in an inferior way but in a better way that the other nations of the world, other people in the world may look at us and say, you are so happy, you are so blessed. What is the difference? Why are you like that? This is our obligation, to shine his light. So I'm not telling you this for you to arrive in your works celebration and point out to the Christmas tree and say, this is idolatry. Be wise, friend. Do not do that. Am I right? You need to know how to conduct yourself and to be a garden that will attract the bees and not a rubbish bin that only attracts flies. You must be a wise person, comprehensive. The Christian person understands the unbeliever. They understand those who do not believe in God and they look for opportunities with wisdom to speak and not to be criticizing, to not be like a skin rash that wounds the neck of people. You must be a wise person to take the word of God to people in such a way that they may understand it. So what I'm saying here is that each one of us, it's not only those in the world, everyone, including Christians, all of us have the tendency to create God for ourselves, on raising golden calves for ourselves. You only need to go through a small hardship that God didn't answer us, that we will look for someone who answer us, which was what the people did at the foot of the Sinai. Moses took a little bit longer at the top of the Sinai and the people said, we need another God, we don't know what happened to this Moses and to his God. And they created a God of gold in the shape of a calf. 
So people do that, not in the shape of a calf, but in the shape of a university, human skills, studies. They place their faith more in the doctors than in God, in their science, in their money. Oh, if I have a lot of money, all my problems will be solved. What I must do is to make money. Money and money. People are programmed that in their eyes you see money programmed to make money, thinking that the money will solve all their problems. In other words, the money became your god. Mammon is a god. So it is against that that we need to protect ourselves, all of us. And remember, when you do not know God, when you don't place your faith in Him, 100% of it, then you will certainly create other gods to focus your faith in them. So it's important for you to choose your true and only God and Lord of your life and to know Him better, go deep into His words, have a relationship with Him, because like this, you will be shielded from all deceits, false gods, traditions that were created along the centuries because of this lack of knowledge, this ignorance from people in regards to the true God. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.